So, got this thing on the seat since it's kind of what? So, we on the way to get new bay. <laughs> on the way. Get new bay. Ah, uh, that's classic. We're about to start the couple hour journey to go get this car. Hopefully everything looks good. Weather's supposed to be pretty decent. It's actually, it's actually supposed to be super nice. 60s, sunny, no rain. Thank God. So I'm just stopping some coffee really quick and then, uh, go from there. Now off to get gear, bear. So we're headed there, it's in PA. We're about two and a half hours away. We're gonna see, hopefully the drive goes pretty smooth, no problems. We'll see you in a little bit. So here she is. I basically have a little YouTube channel I'm doing. This will be part of it too, I guess now. Here she is, y'all. She's definitely a cutie. She's cool. It's a very, it's a very new channel. Okay. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been doing it for too long, but. Oh, I love the interior, actually. Okay, I got it about six years ago. So you took it down, You the roof was flaking, and then you took it down, and then you just kind of passed the sunroof area? Yeah, and it's still not done, because you can see here. Yeah, I see. So sunroof needs a little bit of love. And the quarters, they were flaking a little bit as well? Yeah, Every, it, well, it was like uh, all the putty that was on it, it either got old or uh -huh. wasn't applied correctly. Right. And uh, it popped. And then the other side as well? Yeah, anywhere you see. Yeah, so there was some really bad body work done on it. Got all the rust out. That was my main thing to do first, and then I started, yeah. And then uh, trying to keep up with the house and everything else. Yeah, I gotcha. And, uh, That's fine. That's a beauty. Nice little beamer too. Beautiful out here. On here, mm -hmm. and and they say you should make Pull that the up. up. Okay, there's no hydraulics. Oh. What I do here is I take this right here. Oh, trusty! You just pop it right there. Cool. Okay, so I'll tell you a little thing about the engine. It used to have a CDI. Yep, that's the one. It will work when it gets. The right temperature or something? Yeah, it probably needs the new struts. So here's the all the carpeting for it. Uh-huh. It's right there, and then there's the other information there. Cool. And the battery box isn't, <clears throat> the battery box isn't uh, corroded at all. That's the main thing right yeah, there. Yeah, no, they always get corroded right there. It used to be silver. So the original color was silver? Yeah, it's all silver. Really? Wow, so honestly, yeah. if I do a whole respray, it wouldn't be like completely... Silver, I think. We'll oh, see. Yeah. I mean, maybe silver, like, I don't know. They're kind of lighter. Uh-huh. <laughs> so the plate you brought. So I have a plate. Hopefully we can get this deal done. She drives beautiful.
her home safe and sound. She drove pretty smooth. That rear, so I'm gonna probably do a whole kind of overview of the car at a later time. As far as a part one, seeing the first stages of the project. Take a look at the rear interior. Pretty cool color scheme with the old school plaid. It's a little bit faded, but no, it's not too bad. Interior looks pretty good overall. Need a cover for that speaker. That one looks pretty good. So I'm thinking about getting different seats possibly. Possibly getting two different front seats to match that rear pattern. Everything else in the interior looks pretty good. Got new sun visors. So this is the majority. It's gonna need the love. All this body work. Both quarter panels are gonna need some love. The roof is hard to tell, but definitely a little wavy here. Have some stress here. So roof's gonna need a lot of it, a lot of bit of a lot of bit of work. As you can see, there's no corrosion in a lot of the spots where they like to rust. I was thinking about a color change, but honestly, the car doesn't completely need one. Yeah, so basically we're just gonna be taking on this project, you know, try to give it a little refresh, swap some stuff on it, convert it to look much as IROC as possible. I like the front and rear bumper and this deck lid. I'm not trying to do too much else for now. So here's a little bit of an overview of all the parts that came with the car. An extra deck lid, whale tail style, IROC rear bumper, also an IROC front bumper, both by Getty Designs. The stock side skirts also came with the car. And here's another box of miscellaneous parts. As you can see, there's a lot of good stuff in here. There are some brand new sun visors, as well as another igniter for the ignition. There's also some plugs and an extra set of headlight covers and those pieces that front and rear bumper are missing and the rear seat belt as well. With all these extra parts, I'm gonna end up painting it all so that I'll be able to go back and forth between the IROC look as well as the stock turbo wide body look. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the process of me getting the 1977 911S home. I'm really happy to have this car. I've been always searching for them. I actually had a few in the past, but this one's gonna be a fun little project for me to dive into. Stay tuned for the next episode to see the progress when we actually start getting into it a little bit. Be blessed and be superish.